All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today we are going to be taking on the newest stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history on both Global and JP actually. And I believe it's stage 9 versus uh, Bobbidi's army starting with Yamu and Spopovich all the way down to the fat Majin Buu. Now, in order to clear all the missions in one run, you have to bring at least three uh, units from the Majin Buu Saga category and three from the Super Saiyan 2 category. Now luckily there is quite a bit of crossover uh, between the categories. So with this team, this dude right here plus this guy and this guy, those three alone are enough to um, you know, fulfill all the category conditions. So we're good to go there. And the rest of the team is, uh, I would say pretty solid. I, I think we're gonna be okay. So without further ado, <laughs> Let's jump in and get it started. And I'm gonna call for a no item run here. I mean, honestly, if I use items with this team, people are definitely gonna make fun of me. So yeah, I'm gonna say no items. I did bring items just in case. And uh, I know that Bobbity at the end is quite a, he, he's like pretty annoying cause he can super twice, right? And he hits really hard. And I think he also, does he seal you? I don't remember if he seals like the Bobbidi and Bob uh, in Battlefield. Hopefully not. But either way, this guy hits really hard. He supers twice, so we got to be careful there. But aside from that, I think we'll be okay with all the other stages. Um, so Yamu and Spopovich first. I think after this is Pui Pui. And then we have Yakon, Dabura. Um, who else was? Oh, Majin Vegeta, Bobbidi, and then Fat Boo. I think those are the seven enemies. You know what's really funny? When, at least funny to me, when uh, we first found out there was going to be a new stage for Infinite Dragon Ball history, I was like, oh, it's definitely, 100%, it's definitely going to be a uh, Buu Saga themed, right? Um, I mean, we knew it was going to be a Buu Saga themed celebration, so it makes sense that the, that the new Infinite Dragon Ball history dropping around this time was going to be Buu Saga as well. And I did a prediction for what the enemies would be, and I was like, hey man, they said it was going to be, you know, celebrating like the end of the Buu Saga, so I was thinking maybe like some of the characters that we see near the end, like Buhan and Vegito, Super Vegito, Kid Buu, so on and so forth. So I did a prediction, I was like, okay, I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be nine enemies, it's gonna be one of those longer stages, and we're also gonna be getting, um, you know, all the forms of Buu, like, you know, Fat Buu, Evil Buu, Super Buu, <laughs> Kid Buu, Buhan, and a couple of Vegitos, maybe Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I'm not sure if I said Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I might have forgotten Super Saiyan 3 Goku. But either way, I, I was pretty confident in my prediction. I was like, you know what, man? This is probably going to be pretty close, even if I'm wrong. And I think that literally the only enemy I got right was um, Super... No, it was Fat Boo. Fat Boo was literally the only enemy I got right. And I said he was going to be the first enemy. So I was super, super off, like literally wasn't even close, and um, definitely took the L there, all right, definitely took the L there. But you know what, I can admit it, I can admit when I'm wrong, so I was super, super off on that one. But you know what, sometimes with these predictions, um, that's just what they are, man, they are predictions, they're just speculation, and sometimes you're just really, really wrong, and that was the case this time. Okay, anyways. Let's move on past that. I just thought it was really funny, like how badly I was off from the mark on that one. Like usually when I make predictions, you know, I'm not like that accurate sometimes, but at least I get like maybe half the units right or something like that. Like this time it was just really, really bad. Like I wasn't even close. So yeah. Okay, let's focus on this run here. I wanna try to get like a decent time at least. Um, obviously we're not going for speed too much, but I do want to actually complete that mission that requires you to finish the, the stage in, I think it's 20 turns. So in 20 turns, you have to complete it. And if you don't, then you don't get that final mission. I think it's actually new. I don't think any of, of the other stages have had that. So uh, yeah, this is a new thing they added with this stage specifically, 20 turns to complete the mission. And so far we've used four turns. As you can see, there's a turn counter at the bottom of the screen now, which I love, man. That's so amazing. It's just such a nice like quality of life change that uh, will allow you to you know actually know when 
certain passives are going to proc, when transformations are going to happen, informations like this, you now know, you know exactly how many turns you have left to complete the mission, right? So right now we're on turn five. Um, we don't have to kill Pui Pui here, but it'll be nice to actually finish him off on this turn so we can move on without without wasting another turn. Um, this Majin Vegeta is such a monster, guys. Such a beast. Ooh, additional. Okay. Yo, one thing I've noticed inter that's interesting is like when you have an additional normal attack, it doesn't actually show the attack stat. It just shows like the the cut in, right? But I didn't really see like how much attack that actually was. Not, not that it matters too much, if I'm being honest. It's just different, you know. But overall, I do love this new UI. Don't get me wrong, okay? I love this new interface with the the links popping up and everything like that because it just saves so much time. Like before, it was. You know, every single unit is like passive, like popping up on the screen. You have to just have to you just have to click through them. Super, super annoying. But now, right now, it just shows everybody like at once, and then it's done. And that's it. It's literally like a third of the time it used to take for every single rotation. So definitely a positive change right there. You know, everything is positive, man. I, I love this update. We got the link skills. We got the new uh, interface. We got the turn counter, we got the ability to like hold enemies and see what they do, hold your units to see the links activated, all that good stuff. Like this is a really, really good update. Probably the biggest one we've had since the hidden potential update like years ago, right? Like it's just that game changing. And by the way, I will be doing some link farming soon. So if you guys um, wanna, you know, join me for some of that, then uh, stay tuned for a stream later today. Uh, I'll probably be starting with, I I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're going to start with the uh, Blue Fusions, or like just like a Realm of Gods team in general, but focusing on the Blue Fusions, because obviously those guys, uh, at this point right now, are like my most used units, so I definitely want to get them like, powered up as quickly as possible, and uh, just make them even more broken than they already are, you know, like they're already super busted units, but now they're going to be even more busted with this link update. Oh man. That is I did not I did not expect to take that much damage. Wow. I mean I knew he was gonna hit us hard. I don't know it's gonna be like 50k hard. Uh damn this is super. Yeah I, I'm I'm not so sure about this no item run anymore guys. Like obviously the other rotation is fine, right, with the uh, killing Khalifla and the Gohan. They don't, I don't have to worry about them at all, but the other, like this rotation here with the, you know, Vegetas and stuff like that, they're, they can be like somewhat tanky, but like not the most tanky, you know, so we might be in trouble if I don't use items in a bit. We'll see, we'll see. Like I'm, I'm definitely worried about Bobbity, man. I, I don't want to die on the Bobbity stage. So we'll, we'll, we'll go with it. We'll see how things uh turn out. And if I have to use an item, I might use an item, man. I don't know if you guys saw the Uber Eats uh, notification. I don't remember what I ordered, actually. Did I order something? Maybe somebody else ordered something. Either way, I'll check on it later. All right, so here's the super on killing Khalifla, 13k to be expected. Actually, I'm surprised they took that much damage. I think it's because they haven't had a chance to attack too much yet. Like, I was expecting, like, double digits. Um, but they will be taking double digits for supers near the end, so... It's gonna be fine. Like I said, I'm not really that worried at all about this, you know, this rotation. It's this other rotation here that I'm more concerned about for sure. Uh, let me see. Okay, so Majin Vegeta's locked in place. And we can't even super with either Goku or Vegeta in the first slot. So I think I'm gonna have to just put, uh, put Goku there to you know, spare ourselves of a super. I'll give those AGL orbs to the Fizz Vegeta, and we'll give these to Majin Vegeta. Okay, so Deborah should be dead this turn. We still have 11 turns after this to complete the mission. Is it is it 20 turns or less, or is it less than 20 turns? Because there's a difference there, right? So I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, can we clear it on turn 20 and still finish the mission? I guess we'll find out soon. I guess we'll find out soon. All right. <sighs> focus, man. We got to focus. All right, we killed Deborah. We still got, I think, three more enemies. We have to beat three enemies in 10 turns. 
Uh, there's Majin Vegeta, and then Bobbity, and then Tabora. No, not Tabora. Uh, Bobbity, and then Boo. So obviously the later stages are going to be more difficult. So I really got to take advantage right now, and uh, you know finish these as quickly as possible. Okay, so those for him. Uh, man, do I do I give these to Gohan? Man, I'll save them for Roger Matita. Yeah, I'll save them for Roger Matita. Just so we can actually tank some attacks at the end. I didn't even notice we're getting a token attack. Okay, so token attack incoming. This super is going to hit us for... Whoa! What? Hold up. Yo, I was so shocked they missed the first, the first number. How... How did we take a super for a hundred and... What was it? 150k? 160k? How? It's killing Khalifla! No, no, last I checked, they had at least 200,000 defense. What? Like, I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand what just happened there, man. Damn. Um, okay, so, so I might have underestimated the stage a little bit. I might have underestimated the stage a little bit, man. Dude, that 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 shouldn't happen. That's not right. That's not right. How did we take a hundred and sixty thousand or whatever it was? Okay, I'm I'm so confused right now. I I can't lie. I'm like actually shook right now. But okay, that happened. Um, let's give. Let's give all that to, to Vegeta. He deserves it. And can we get six orbs? We can't, but let's give these to Majin Vegeta. And these to Goku. So hopefully we don't have to actually take any attacks with Goku. I'm hoping that the Vegetas will just, Vegetas will just finish him off. So far, 12 minutes into the run. Actually, you know what? I talked a bit in the beginning, so probably like 11 minutes or so. But uh, we're not going for speed, obviously. Because I've been talking in the video. If I really focus, I'm sure I can beat this a lot faster. Um, oh, by the way, Ashley, I wanna I wanna hear your opinions about like totally I just totally off topic. Just came to mind right now. Uh, if you guys haven't heard, bit of a spoiler. Not not really a spoiler because not really like, confirmed or anything like that. But we basically know what the dual Dokkan fest for this celebration is gonna be now in part one, right? Um, a lot of you guys probably heard that. You know, there was going to be the... Uh, oh, hold on, actually. Hold on. I might have to break these guys up. Yeah, I might have to break these guys up. Because we got two attacks. I believe they're both supers. Um, so, I can't put Majin Vegeta there, that's for sure. So, I'm going to just give a couple of orbs to Kaelin Khalifla. They, they're sealed, though. I do see that. And then, I guess he's not going to super... And I'll give these to Gohan. Maybe I should have put Gohan in the first slot. Hmm. Maybe that would have made more sense. I'm not really sure. Okay, so 36k, that's fine. Majin Vegeta probably would have taken like 300k, you know, something like that. So uh, yeah, yeah, the dual Dokkan Fest at this point we pretty much know is is confirmed to be uh. LR Super Vegito, right? And LR Buhan. And the reason we know that was uh, yesterday, it was discovered by a couple of people, um, like Air Dokkan. Uh, there's a user named Rig55Gar, I think. Might have messed up his name, that's my bad. But hopefully you guys know who I'm trying to say. And uh, they discovered that, you know, the... Uh, oh, you know, let me put him here, one sec. Oh, so anybody in the first slot is sealed? That's interesting. That's really interesting. Oh, damn. Um, so let's put that Vegeta there. Let's give all these to Majin Vegeta. And he has some defense, not as much as I would like him to, but but enough, I guess, for now. Okay. Oh, it's not in the first slot. No, 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 what am I saying? <laughs> no, it just happened that the units I was trying to put in the first slot were sealed. But no, it's uh, he just seals somebody on rotation. Okay. I just made myself look really dumb there. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's not how it works. Basically, he steals somebody on rotation, and uh, you just gotta hope that it's not, you know, a unit that you actually want to 
<clears throat> do damage. And in this case, it was because it was our Fizz Vegeta, so it didn't work out, you know, too good. But at the very least, Bobbity's almost dead. So I think uh, we actually have a pretty good chance of beating this in 20 turns. Like a, de a decent chance for sure. A decent chance for sure. Um, it seems like he always like seals your best attacker essentially. That's what it seems like. Uh, let's see. So I'll give these to them. And then I think Majin Vegeta would actually be a better option here because he can actually guard, right? He can guard against attacks. So I think we're actually safer with Majin Vegeta there. I could come to really regret this. I'll see what happens, but I'm not really like too, feeling too good here. Oh, we got a dodge. Perfect. Got a dodge. Additional. Um, what was I saying before? Oh, before I got sidetracked, basically the two, um, like there were two or three people on Twitter that discovered that the uh, token events for Vegito and Buhan are going away on the 26th, obviously getting ready to add a new stage, right? And because of that, it's, it becomes pretty evident that we're getting a new Buhan and a new Vegito, and that basically confirms the dual token fest. Obviously, it's not 100% guaranteed. Like, nothing is official until it's actually uh, official, if that makes sense, right? Like, we still um, want to wait for the official news release or official, you know, Dokkan Now thing, live stream thing from uh, Bandai themselves to be 100% sure about it. But what I can say is that there's a very, 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 very good chance that that's going to be the dual token fest. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that. Are you happy about it? Are you disappointed? Are you mad? Um, I've, I've seen all kinds of reactions out there from the community. Some people are okay with it. Some people are less okay with it. It really depends on um, what you were expecting, I guess. Right? It's like expectation versus reality. And I think some people were just hoping for something other than a new Vegito. Because to be fair, we have been inundated inundated with a decent amount of fusions recently like Vegito, Gogeta, Kefla on global, especially on global actually. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of fusions. So I think people are just a little bit tired of fusions at this point, and I understand why some people are quite upset about this. Um but on the other hand, if I'm being completely honest, uh I'm okay with it. You know, I like I don't mind it at all, but I understand the frustration from some people. So let me know what you guys think. I want to I see your general the, the general consensus of the people on this channel. Um, but yeah, I, I'm still hyped, man. I, I know Vegito and, and uh, Buhan are going to be insane. I think, honestly, if Buhan was the one to be leaked first, to be revealed first, uh, maybe through the icon, maybe if the icon that we got was like a Buhan, as opposed to Go Goku and Vegito with the Patara earrings, people would have been more okay with it. But it's the fact that it was Vegito first that put a bad taste in people's mouths. And then when we found out that it was also gonna be a Buhan, we were like, oh man, Buhan and Vegito, not hype, blah, 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 right? But like I said, I'm, I'm totally cool with it. I'm not mad at all, but I wanna hear your opinions, okay? So we are pretty close to the end here, guys. Um, yeah, I, th I think we got this in 20 turns. Like, I don't see, see us taking more than two more turns to finish this. Maybe before I get over cocky, I should shut up and just let it play out just in case something bad happens because that has happened before. I've gone overconfident on like a stream and then I take a super and then I die like near the very end and it's just kind of embarrassing, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna I'm just let it play out, man. I'm not gonna say anything else until we finish this. Okay, so Boo has the healing, but it's actually not that bad compared to some other enemies we've had that heal, right? Like Damasu, for example, or like Kid Boo in Battlefield. Um, only 460k, like that's totally manageable. That's really, really manageable. And okay, didn't finish him off there. We're taking a super. That Goku, oh, Goku's taking the super. Ooh, okay, that, that hit pretty hard. But uh, you know what? We're gonna let the Majin Vegeta finish things off because after all it is the Boo Saga, right? So we can't let like, Kill and Khalifla be the MVP here, even though they pretty much were. But we're gonna let Majin Vegeta finish things off on their own terms. Okay, here we go. Last attack of the fight. This should be the final attack 
There we go. Boo's dead. And I think it took us 18 turns, right? I think it was 18 turns. So we should finish all the missions here. Like, there should not be a single mission left. We'll see, though. Maybe I, like, messed up somewhere. No, there's no way. Okay, let's see. We got one stone for the clear. And let's see if we finish all the missions. We definitely should have. Definitely should have. Taking a while to load, though. It's making me nervous. Okay. Yes. Okay. We got all the missions done. There we go, guys. One stone plus 23. 24 stones in total. Got an Elder Kai. Some other good stuff. And that is the new Infinite Dragon Ball History stage, guys. Versus Bobbity's Army. I do think we're going to get that other stage I was talking about in my speculation uh, a couple days ago, right? With, like, you know, the later people, like uh, Kid Buu, Wuhan, Vegito, all that stuff. But they're probably saving that maybe for later on in the celebration, maybe in part two or something like that. But that's stage nine right there for you, uh, both global and JP. I didn't actually see my time. Doesn't really matter though, because I didn't really go for time. But we did no item it, which is nice to be expected. If I didn't no item with that team, people would have grilled me for it. So it's okay. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that is today's video. Stage nine complete, no items, all missions, one run. And uh, that's all she wrote, man. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.